Just see the names of candidates on November ballots. Several districts are asking voters to approve referendums in our area. Keely Arthur shares while the districts are different, their problems are similar. Two separate districts, Oregon and Middleton Cross Plains, saying they're too big for their current facilities and they need voters to do something about it. This is our third uh, public forum. Middleton Cross Plains Superintendent George Mavrolis is asking voters to help fix a big problem. Well, we've been the fastest growing school district in Dane County for the past four years. Our building is over capacity right now by a couple hundred students. So we are ready are, are tight and it's going to get more tight in the future years. So uh, the time is right now to go for a new referendum. On November 6th, residents within the district's boundaries will see two questions. One will ask to approve spending $138.9 million for a new elementary school, renovations to the high school, a cafeteria at Park Elementary. And then they'll see us converting Clark Street Community School um, into our early learning center. The second question asks for an additional $4.8 million to cover staff and operational costs, including security upgrades. It is the new normal. Voters southeast in Oregon's district boundaries will also see two questions on their ballots. One would approve $44.9 million covering the construction of a new elementary school, the purchase of two land sites, including one for the elementary school and another for a future middle school. And the second question asks for $2.1 million recurring. That's to cover the annual operating costs of operating that new school in the district. The reason for the referendums, same as Middleton Cross Plains, rapid growth. A problem Mavrolis says isn't the worst one to have. It's better than being a um, decreasing enrollment uh, school district where you're making reductions and cuts. For more details and a breakdown on how this will impact you, the taxpayer, go to channel3000.com. Keely, thank you.